In this screencast video lecture, we are going to see in detail about the cellulose molecule that is what is its function there in the plant system, what is the monomer from which it has been made, the steps there in its synthesis, then how it is assembled there in the plant system. So all these details we are going to see in this screencast video lecture. Cellulose is an organic compound that belong to the category of polysaccharides. It is a polymer made up of glucose subunits, abundant there present in the plant cell wall and globally plant produce almost 10 power 14 kilogram that is 100 billion tons of cellulose per year. So it becomes an abundant organic compound there on the earth surface. Plant on an average contains about 60 percentage of their biomass made up of cellulose. Cellulose is made up of thousands of D-glucose subunits. The glucose subunits in the cellulose are linked via a beta-1,4 glycosidic linkages. Contrary to the other polysaccharides, the orientation of the glucose molecule in cellulose is reverse. That is, when glucose forms into a ring, the OH group that have been present attached to a number one carbon is positioned below or above the plan of ring. This has been very clearly depicted there in the diagram. If you look at here in the cellulose molecule, every beta glucose monomer is upside down with respect to its neighbor molecule. So you can able to see the arrangement of the OH group in an upside down fashion there in the glucose which is commonly referred this form as a beta glucose. So the type of linkage involved here is a 1,4 beta glycosidic linkage that is within first carbon and on the fourth carbon the linkage has been established it is referred as a 1,4 beta glycosidic linkage. Cellulose molecules are straight unbranched molecule that is linear in its arrangement. Some hydroxyl groups on the glucose monomers are free to form hydrogen bonds with the hydroxyls of the other cellulose molecule that have been lying parallel to it. In plant cell walls, parallel cellulose molecule are held together in this way or grouped into units called as a microfibrils. These microfibrils together form the polysaccharide or cellulose matrix. Around 15 to 30 percentage of the cellulose present in the primary cell wall of the plant and greater percentage have been present there in the secondary cell wall. The cellulose content of the plant material generally increases with the plant age on a dry weight basis. It may be low as 15 percentage in the young plants or it may be greater than 50 percentage in the woody plants. Now we look at the properties of the cellulose molecule. Cellulose is the most abundant carbohydrate present there in the nature. It is insoluble in water. It is crystalline when present in solid having a white powdery appearance. It has high tensile strength mainly due to the firm hydrogen bonds that have been formed between the individual chains of the cellulose microfibrils. The alternate arrangement of the glucose molecules in the cellulose also contribute to the high tensile strength of the cellulose molecule. It is soluble in the organic solvents. Now we look at the points related to synthesis of cellulose molecule. In plants, cellulose synthesis takes place on special complexes present at the cell membrane. They are referred as a rosette terminal complexes. It involves polymerization of the glucose residues to form into cellulose chain and assembly of the cellulose microfibrils there in the plant system. These complexes are hexameric transmembrane protein that are capable of free flotation there in the plasma membrane. They contain different kinds of enzyme systems that helps in the cellulose synthesis. The important enzymes and their steps have been shown there. Glucose 6 phosphate is first converted to glucose 1 phosphate by phosphoglucomutase enzyme. Then glucose 1 phosphate can able to react there with the uridine triphosphate to form UDP glucose and pyrophosphate molecules. This UDP glucose is the main monomer that helps in the synthesis of the cellulose molecule. 
there the enzyme involved is cellulase synthase which actually construct the cellulose chain by using UDP glucose residue as a monomeric molecules. But for the start of this process, it requires cytosterol beta glucoside which serves as a primer there for the adding of new UDP glucose and finally forming into cellulose molecule. Now, we look at the steps that are involved in the assembly of the cellulose microfibril. Once a cellulose chain has been elongated to a certain length, the cellulase enzyme present in the cytoplasm cleaves this chain from the primer molecule. The rosette complex proteins that have been available there in the plasma membrane move this chain across the plasma membrane into the cell wall to get polymerized there into the cellulose molecule. In the cell wall, different cellulose chains are arranged parallel to each other as shown there in the diagram and the hydrogen bonds are formed among them and this results in the formation of a cellulose microfibril structure which gives high tensile strength there to the cellulose molecule. After formation of the cellulose, a further highly organized polysaccharide matrix could be formed with the help of sugar molecules. These sugar molecules in turn interact with the cellulose microfibrils to form into the matrix. In the primary cell wall of the plants, glucons and other sugars such as arabinose xylons, which are the major components of the polysaccharide matrix. These polysaccharides interact with one another and form into a network among the cellulose microfibrils. This network is further strengthened by cross-linking formation. This cross-linking is mainly mediated by the reaction of the arabinoxylon residues there with certain specific compounds such as ferulic acid and diferulic acid. This is the reason why this particular polysaccharide complex can be referred as the acidic polysaccharide. In addition to the cellulose microfibrils and polysaccharide matrix, the primary cell wall also contains other cross-linking molecules such as a hemicellulose. These polysaccharides cross-link the cellulose microfibrils to form into a highly complex network there in the plant system.